Hello guys, uh, back with Denver here from ITN Autos and today will be my first English video and it will be the how to install Oxygen OS GSI in Realme 3 Pro. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button if you haven't. And today we'll show you how to install Oxygen OS GSI and installing the fix. Okay, uh, first you need to get into Turp. If you haven't uh, uh, watched the part 1 and 2, please watch it first. So you will <coughs> be able to be here now. Okay, press format data. Yes. So this will be the first thing you need to install. You need to format your data first, then remove the recovery. And check this. Rooting or the recovery. After that, you'll need to uh, install Decorate Stream Zip first. Whoop. Yep. You need to install the decryption fix. Oh, no. okay. You can also uh, use your laptop to. And plug it to your phone and put it in your internal storage, even in turbo mode, you can. And now, uh, truly decryption. Don't check this too. Make sure. Okay. Done flashing. Okay, now we can finally install the Oxygen OS. So you can, again, use your laptop, put it in your phone. But I've installed, uh, I've the IMG file and my SD card the image file so let's just go for me it's in here and make sure to press install image there we go and the oxygen OS is this one 18 June oxygen OS on system image make sure it's on system image unless you work your device like Badly, it'll break, and maybe you need to medic first and redoing it, which is gonna waste your time. So let's flash. Okay, this is gonna take around three minutes. Okay. Okay, oh, after I'm done in installing GSI. After that, installing GSI, you can here do this back and you can reboot to oh wait you need to actually root your device so here's the trick actually uh, in that file in that uh, magis file you also can install it from turp if you have turp already like me so you basically can move that file platform tools like this have the image already is boot r and recovery r for me know that all right but this we also already have a root installed right now because oxygen os i think can only boot in root i don't know so Let's reboot to the recovery so that it'll let the boot be enabled. Put it down. All right. Oh, yeah, and in Oxygen OS, you can also uh, plug your SD card to your device and plug it to your laptop because it will detect as USB. And it will be in the Android format, so the laptop won't be able to read it and ask you to format. Yeah, that's kind of the bug in Oxygen OS. And after that, we. Hmm, I think, yeah, maybe lock screen bug, you know, you can't lock your device, fingerprint bug. Uh, yeah, I think that's all in Oxygen OS. I mean, the battery is unlike any other GSI, it's actually good. But it takes time. So at the first day, it's gonna be not so good. 
but at the second it will keep gone better and better until about maybe four to five days and it will just as good as color OS in my experience and this boot actually may take a long five uh, around five minutes so you need to be patient and just keep positive thinking T stop on saying like oh no I believe my device just stop just wait it's the first boot every phone did that Okay. Oh, and by the way, in Oxygen OS, you don't really need permissiver. That's why I didn't flush it just now. And finally, it boots. Okay. Well, in this situation, I have so many bugs here. It's it's basically gonna be unusable. After to go crash. So all you need to do is download. Um, the latest Google Play service from APK Mirror. Well, any website actually, but I recommend APK Mirror first. Why not? Okay, back to the laptop. Now, as I say, you can plug it now. Set it as file transfer. Okay, see, as you can see there, it will say that your memory card. Is corrupted because uh, I don't know the Android have different format for SD cards in Android Marshmallow and later from the older one I don't know why okay so you can actually access your storage so now I have download um, there's two fix here there is fault you can just move it to desktop first and this <coughs> Google Play service. There are three fakes. So fold is for fixing the power issue where you will only get black screen when you restart or power off instead of re restarting or power off. And uh, Google Play service. I don't know, but the Google Play service seems to be always crashed. So we need to update the Play service. And the last one, oh yeah, the last one will be uh, fixing notch. If you see on the device, there will be a very weird notch. It's actually a OnePlus 6 notch, but yeah, it's uh, Oxygen OS from OnePlus 6, but wow, this is weird. But we can fix it later. Now, here is an internal storage. You can put it in, track it like this, pop it to your phone easily. So, some of you may ask why I don't use uh, Google Chrome and download it instead because Google Chrome also crashed without this Play Surface, so you can't use Google Chrome for now, normally. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, whatever. Go to File Manager. Confirm. So, the, real, the very first thing you need to uh, install, you go to internal storage and install this this is very important the Google Play service see and it will have some one plus privacy policy update just update it so it's finished I'm sorry if there is some other guy, uh, other noise outside because my house is kind of a bit noisy. Okay, done. And now you need to download from Google Chrome. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just allow it. Now you can access Google Chrome finally and you can sign in, but I wouldn't. I haven't had a connection. Let's connect it to my Wi Fi. And finally, I have uh, connected Wi Fi. Now I can go search Root Explorer. Make sure you download uh, the latest version here 4.4.2.
Yeah, I downloaded it from up to down. Back. Here, press it. Root Explorer. Again, that takes some time. Coordinate your internet connection speed. <coughs> and okay, you can press that and it will download it. Install the app. And you need to copy uh, full the file we have from our laptop, which you can take from our Indonesian group again. Well, at this moment we should allow it from a chest, but see, so we need to install a chest manager too correctly. And this point a uh, root explorer does need root so we need to go to super user and maybe let it okay go to root explorer again maybe there we go grant and it'll be here so we go to system and bin first bin there we go. You'll see. You'll see fault here. Here. The file we're going to replace. And this is storage. You can cut it out. Move it to bin. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it often failed. I don't know why. I mean, it few tries. Hmm. Fault. But it does really often to fail. I mean, like in some cases. See? It will delete. And now you can move fault. It's weird sometimes. You know, this app. I don't know. Maybe it's long not updated. Now it's. Um, Final success and go to fold again. Fold, fold right, and uh, change the permission. <laughs> Do it like this. Okay. See that? Just leave like the other <coughs> files. So now all we need to do is update Majest first, so that you can install the Notch Killer, which will also available in our Indonesian group. I mean, we have a lot of files in the group. Now here's the thing, uh, you can't actually reboot even you have fix but you just installed the fix unit one time to force reboot your phone by power volume up like this just holding it for around 10 seconds and it will reboot Oh yeah, make sure to remember to boot to recovery or your system may not boot. So I'm holding 10 seconds again just to let the system reboot and boot to recovery. Like it sometimes takes longer than 10 seconds but really claims it with 10 seconds. Now I finally boot to bootloader again. Let's press reboot to recovery and <clears throat> now we have all see uh power issue fix 
uh, Google Play fix. Now the only thing need to fix is that annoying notch that looks so weird. Okay, by opening with just many turns sometimes for a first boot, it won't be responsive like that. Okay, I'll go to. Now you need to download the notch killer which will also fail over actually in my group but just let's re-download it again because we have Google Chrome installed here and the autofocus starts being sucks again I don't know why my plus 6 do this okay Okay, it's kind of hard to find in Google. Let's just open in our group. That's why you must join our group because we have everything in the group. And where's the group document file? Here. You see that? Much better killer version 8. You need to copy it. To your phone again. Now let's plug the device. Use file transfer. Move it to your internal storage like that. Now let's reopen my chest. Go to modules, press this button. It's again unresponsive for our first boot. Always, all custom rooms did that. And now let's go to the Internal storage is hidden. Show internal storage. There we go. And install this. Now reboot again to recovery. I would rather shutting down than turn it on to recovery since I haven't enabled advanced reboot. Now finally we're back here means that we already have the notch killer installed so all you need to do is go to about phone build number press it around seven times now go to system developer option go down there and go to the Simulate a display with a cutout, use notch killer, and it will be fixed. There we go. So that's it. Now you can use your phone normally. Thanks for watching. Um, goodbye.